This channel is a group of investigative journalists who make educational documentaries showcasing and educating society, especially parents and legal guardians, about potential scenarios that result from young people and adults conversating online if left unchecked. We conduct thorough interviews with consenting adults in an attempt to understand their perspective on why they partake in these conversations online with people that are not of age. The goal of the interviews in these videos and the videos themselves is to gain an understanding of the perspective of the individual being interviewed so parents and the rest of society can be educated and aware of potential thought processes and desires of adults online to unsupervised persons not of age. These videos are not to cyberbully, harass, degrade, accuse, or threaten any individuals partaking in the interview process or in the video itself. We do not condone any of these actions. These videos are strictly educational and we grant full permission for academia, which is any classroom setting or in scholarly papers to show or cite our videos. To ensure that these videos are strictly used for educational purposes, we strictly adhere to YouTube's community guidelines, such as not revealing someone's personally identifiable information, in other words, PII. YouTube defines personally identifiable information as their home address, email addresses, signing credentials, phone numbers, passport number, medical records, or bank account information. We thoroughly look at and edit our videos to ensure that none of this information about any individual is shown in our videos. To ensure extra privacy for each person that is a subject of an interview in any of our videos, as of September 1st, 2022, to thoroughly comply with YouTube's harassment and bullying policy, there will be no mention or information about the last name or first name of any person interviewed in our videos. Due to potentially illegal activities discussed in our videos, law enforcement in the respective jurisdiction we conduct these interviews in is notified of each interview and video filmed by us. We are not accusing any individual interviewed of being guilty or committing a crime. That is the job of law enforcement. We are not vigilantes and we do not condone vigilantism or vigilante behavior, such as taking the law into your own hand or not notifying law enforcement when a suspected crime takes place. We are investigative journalists. Trigger warning. Some of what can be discussed in these videos can be sensitive to some, emotional, or stressful. The only goal of these videos is to educate the public. At the end of each video, as of September 1st, 2022, there will be an educational portion at the end to discuss what was talked about in the video and to discuss what people can take from that video and learn from and tell others about. Our goal here is to bring awareness and educate the public. Now the video will start. in his pocket, you see? Or can you do his pockets? Yeah, pocket. yeah. Okay. All right. Just walking. Take this. All right. You guys, someone has the keys, right? Oh yeah, yeah. Let him get closer. I don't think he's gonna. I don't think he, he doesn't look like a runner, but. To come out. Hey Scott, gotta talk to you, man. About what's happening. Do you have any weapons on you? you no, no weapons? Okay. We just, we we just need to talk to you about what's going on here, okay? Huh? My name is Gordon. Nice to meet you. How are you doing, man? Hey, good. You? Gold, gold miner? Yeah, I'm just visiting you. Okay, we just want to talk to you about Lisa, all right? All right. We're not here to hurt you or nothing like no, that. I'm, I'm I don't know any Lisa. Well, we we were just texting you, man. Okay, we saw all the messages. We have everything saved here, and we just I want to talk to you hurt about nobody, it. Man. Okay, huh? I ain't here to hurt nobody. Oh man. no, no, hey man, hey, look at me. We were just talking. Yeah, if we thought we were, if, look, if you, if I thought you were here to hurt somebody, I wouldn't be talking to you, right? I, yeah. I'm just, well, I just want to talk to you about it. It's not that big I of a deal. It if you wouldn't record me. Well, let me, let me just tell you something. This is for safety because, dude, I don't know, you're like, I'm a pretty big guy. I can't, I can't have you snitching on me saying, oh, he's gonna hurt me or any of this stuff. I got to protect myself because no, obviously it's a pretty heavy situation, and I can't say like, you know, you can't say I try to threaten you with a weapon, any of that stuff. So it's just to protect me, okay? No, all I have is a little pocket knife that I clean my fingernails with that's it okay well look on the other hand i definitely don't want other people to know about this or anything is it cool if we just kind of go over away away from people where people can hear just in the shade over there or? are you arresting me or something absolutely not but i think it's important we talk about this because yeah. we have everything saved okay okay so we're not detaining you it's all voluntary to talk to us however i think that's the best option to go for you okay yeah okay cool cool if we just talk like away from where they can hear or because i have a pretty loud voice <laughs> yeah okay you want to kind of walk that way I got my trailer and stuff over here if you want to walk over that way. I'd rather not, if that's okay. okay. All right. Yeah. So you you travel the country gold mining. Yeah, I'm from Alaska. That is amazing. So you're born in Alaska. No, I was no. actually born in California. Okay. Well, I can see why you moved to Alaska then. How do you like it up there? It's cold. I was yeah. there for 27 years. Really? Yeah. So uh, gold mining. So that wasn't like a big old scam. It was actually like a, did you like make money doing it? Yeah, a little bit. Awesome. Like make enough to keep going? No, well, spend as much as you make sometimes. You know? Ah, room. okay. It's a good hobby though. That is amazing, dude. Well, I got a lot of respect for that. I mean, we need more hardworking men I like you. I in Oregon. Oh, no it's, shit. It's some Alaska gold in that one. That is fucking awesome, man. I love yeah. that shit. So you really get it. So you're really a cultured guy then. Well, I, I find it a little bit where I go. Awesome. So what brought you down here to 
shithole uh, land. Friends here in town. Oh, awesome! Cool, yeah. cool. I spent the winter here. Cool. You got a got a family you talk to? Uh, yeah, in awesome. Texas. And, We're in Texas. Yeah. I'm, I'm from there originally. Uh, my my brother, he's in Alvin. In Alvin? Yeah. No way. You know where Lamarck is, right? Right I'm next to Alvin. Right, I'm, I'm, right next to Alvin. That's where I went to high school. So that's cool. Oh, well, cool. Yeah. Small world, huh? All right. But obviously, you seem like a good dude, but you know what I'm here to talk to. You mind if you just... Okay. Yeah, yeah, this is her on the phone there. Okay, but you know what I'm here to talk to you about, right? Of course. All right. So, again, dude, from what I've seen, like, this looks more like a slip off, more like a one-time slip up than a whole pattern. You know what yeah, I'm saying? No, I, I don't do stuff like this. So. Okay. This was your first time? Yeah. Do, yeah do, first time doing what, though? Try, trying to go meet someone underage? Yeah. Well, okay. Yeah. Okay. So how, how old did Lisa tell you she was? I thought she was 18, 17 or 18 anyway. Well. I don't know. I mean, I mean, look, I mean, in the end, we should just be honest with each My other. My grandma here. got married at 14. She had her first baby. Okay. You know, I mean, times change. Uh, okay. So is that kind of what you were thinking, more of like just a traditional thing happening here? No, no, I don't know what I was thinking. Okay. Because, like, you know, I know your your thing isn't going to, you know, pick up kids and all that stuff, no, whatever. I don't this do is that. this I is. Don't do that, man. Like I was like, dude, this is your first time in doing this. Like, what's going on? That's what I'm trying to figure out. Yeah. But I mean, obviously, she told you she was nine years old. Um, multiple times. And you know, I can, again, like, I just kind of want to get to the bottom of this together. You know what I mean? Figure out, you know, just the best way forward. Make sure why this happened if it doesn't happen again, right? Never gonna promise you that. Okay. All right. So you're looking me in the eye. You seem pretty serious about no, that. I'm, I'm serious. Okay. Well, you wouldn't be telling me that if it was an 18 year old. You'd say, "I'm meeting here an 18 year old. Go f yourself and walk away." You wouldn't. You know what I mean? So she did tell you she was nine, and I could go through all the. I could go through all the images. Anyway. Say again. Anyway. Go ahead. Okay. So she said, "I live in New Mexico," and the conversation was really cordial at first. Like he talked about you were a gold miner, which I respect the hell out of. That's a badass job. Yeah, it's just a hobby. Sure. Did you do do any other jobs like besides that, or was that your thing? No, I was a mechanic, body man, painter. Oh, so you really did a service for uh, people and people oh, yeah. need to get around. Oh, yeah. yeah, not people like you. The economy goes to shit. If everybody gets like gender studies degrees and all that garbage, like you know what I mean? <laughs> okay. So I mean, the conversation started so cordial. Like you were like, "This dog is talent." You said, "I almost got booted off here for sharing pics in the chat room with the person. We won't do that again." Like it was just so like nice at first and yeah and she told you i'm only nine years old and you said well that's a bummer and you said nine years old is a great age yes telegram so why yeah, did the conversation grandkids but i never you know tried anything with them man i'm, I'm a good person okay Honestly, I am. okay so th this was really your first time any of this yeah, has happened my grandkids are grown now you know okay okay yeah and that's the thing like you are a good family man and i, I don't want something like this to be you know I don't want something like this to get in the way of what you, what you got going on. You know what I mean? Yeah. It needs to be addressed, I think, big time. But, you know, if, if, if I thought that you needed a trouble, I wouldn't be trying to get you help. You know what I mean? Like, I, I think you need not any trouble. I think you need some help for this maybe or a little just a talking to or something like that. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, you know, then on Telegram, you went to Telegram. That's where you did most of the talking, right? Yeah, it was. Okay. So he said, hi, it's Lisa, the nine-year-old. And he said, well, that's, that's fast, you're hired, LOL. Okay, so after she told you she was nine, why'd the conversation continue? Do what? After she told you she was nine, why'd the conversation continue? I, I don't know, just okay. somebody to talk to, I guess. Okay. That's mainly, yeah. Or just lonely? Yeah, well. Okay. Well, you, okay, well now I understand the reason this happened. Yeah. Like it wasn't because you have an- un Just somebody to chat with, okay. mainly, that's it. Got it, so, so this wasn't like a hunger to go somebody it was literally yeah, it was literally I would never heard anybody in my life okay I well i respect that man so it was it, i haven't never heard nobody in my life okay I never would. hey man i wouldn't be talking to you if i didn't believe that so um okay so this was just, you were really lonely then yeah i guess okay. so i guess i am so, so when she said she was nine i mean what, what 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 did you think about that pretty much i don't know i don't know what the hell i was thinking to be honest i don't did you get carried away yeah i don't know okay I'm just kind of nervous right now. Hey, man. making me nervous. I'm sorry. No, I know this is hard to talk about, dude. And, like, I respect you for having us talk. And there's a, there's a reason, like, I don't want to have it in front of them. You know what I mean? Yeah. So. Oh, I understand. Absolutely. 
So she said she was nine. So was this the first like nine year old you ever talked to? Yeah, I usually don't chat with any girls at all. I mean, I haven't had a girlfriend since 2014. Oh, shit. Dad passed away. I was already here that. in Alaska and helped my mom and cut her firewood and stuff. And, oh, man. You know, so I haven't actually haven't even had a girlfriend for years. Okay. So you've been too busy helping your family and then yeah. this happened. Yeah. Okay. I mean, do you think maybe the internet took you to a place because you were so lonely that you didn't want to go to, or? I'm not sorry, what? Did you think the internet took you to a place you didn't want to go to? Yeah, probably. Okay, got it. I got off of Instagram, so, I mean, I'm not there no more. Mm -hmm. Was that because you were going down this rabbit hole too much? Yeah, I guess. Okay, got yeah. it. Because obviously, like, you, you didn't wake up one day and just say, I want to text a nine-year-old. I, I hope not, yeah. <laughs> but yeah. you kind of, I think, it's it's like right, 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 right. So, so this was more of just a really a, a one-off? Yeah, that's it. Okay. That's it. So were there any, like, other younger ladies under 18 that have talked to you before online? No. No? Not at all. Just Lisa was the only one you thought to be underage, yeah, that's, that's it? That's it. Okay. That's it. Got it. Okay. So this was new to you then? This was all new to you? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, I mean, did the messages kind of get a little bit... Uh, Go a little far, you think? Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm kind of having trouble with my memory since I had a little mini stroke about mm -hmm. three years ago when I came down here. It was so hot, you know, I wasn't used to the heat. And got okay. dehydrated. And but do you, do you think some things? Do you think some things you said were said that you wish you could take back? Probably most of it. Yeah. Okay. All right. That's <laughs> be a better way to put it. Yeah. All right. Like. I want to ask, were there were there pics sent to her that probably shouldn't have been sent? I don't remember that, no. Okay. Not that I know of. Okay. So, I'm going to let you know, like, again, you're not a sociopath, which is why you're not just, uh, which is why the full truth isn't coming out, because, you know, you're obviously a human being with a conscience about this, and that I respect. But I'm going to let you know we saved every single photo that was sent. We saved every part that was sent. All right. I'm just... The reason I'm asking you this is I'm just making sure we're on the same page with this so we can tr so I can truly see if you're about like addressing this. So I, I am going to ask one more time, man. Was, was there some picture sent to her that... I don't remember. I don't know. Okay. Do you remember sending this, this picture to her? This uh, like a smiley face on the... Yeah, that's gold. Oh, that's gold? That's gold pen, yeah. Nice. So it seemed like you were really like interested with sharing your life with her. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm trying to hurt nobody, you know. Mm -hmm. Just a friend. That's mainly what, you know, just wanted somebody to talk to, I guess. Sure. So what do you think caused it to escalate? I don't know. We just kept chatting. I don't know. Okay. You just, do you think just a bond form, maybe? Yeah, we've That's become fair. friends, you okay. know, online. Sure. I believe. Okay. You said here, well, I'm a naughty old guy. What means naughty? And you said, I look at you naughty. Oh, what is that? pictures and videos is naughty yeah. so basically yeah, deleted all that stuff gone off my phone so what stuff none of that no more what stuff that, I mean, you, that you sent her the pictures and bullshit no, okay you know so i'm gonna let you know man basically the reason i want to talk to you is because looking at your backstory there's no crimes or anything no i've so, never done nothing like that before. right never so so you got sucked into this which is what i'm guessing so I think you can use this to kind of turn around, turn this around. And because I want to go after the real bad guys, man. I don't want to just go after, you know, what, what difference does it make if I go after you? I think you can help me find where this crap is coming from, okay? Because obviously we both know what was sent to Lisa when it, when it came to basically images and videos, right? And, you know, I could go through all these printouts and find them, but I, I think for the sake of both of us, we probably shouldn't be looking at those, right? So... You know, I, I, I want to ask, man, what what compelled you? I don't know. I'm kind of embarrassed. So hey, man, way around. we're not here to judge you, dude. None of that stuff. Now, if you said like stuff like I want to rip you to her and no, stuff like that, if, if you that. said that, if I you did, that, I'd be treating it differently. Yeah. But since you didn't, that's why I'm here talking to you. Okay. But she obviously got a lot of videos of child. We both know, right? So. Yeah, I used to have. I deleted them. All those child videos? They're all gone, man. I deleted them. Okay. So. And I'm going to get rid of Telegram, too. Okay. I'm do that. Okay. And, and the reason why I think we can have a cordial conversation about this is because 
you know, it's just internet stuff. Yeah. It's not, you don't have kids in your backyard buried. Oh, no. That's the concern, right? Because the people on Telegram probably do. You don't. People you associate with probably do, as you could probably guess, or <laughs> I'm sure, right? So I got to ask, man. Yeah, there's some pretty sick people out there. Oh, some yeah. Some of the people I chatted with are mm -hmm. right in the head, man, for real. Oh, yeah. I'm not kidding you. Yeah, absolutely. So how did you get sucked in to this child stuff? I don't know. Okay. I just. When did it happen? Uh, how many how many years ago was this? October something. I started looking at pictures and stuff, and I should have never done it. Yeah. Of the 2021 or 2022? Yeah, this is last year. Okay. I mean, I, it's not something that I've been doing for years or something like that. Okay. Got it. So, did this start for you on Telegram, or did you go there from somewhere else? Like, how did how yeah, did Telegram? That was basically it. Telegram is where this all was. Yeah. Okay. So you mentioned basically it. So where were the other apps this was happening on? That's it. Okay. I, mean, I, I have no other apps I'm hanging out on. Okay, you mind just putting that, silencing that for now? Yeah. Just to turn it off or something, please. Put it on the airplane. That'll be appreciated. Even better. <laughs> All right. So, did you get introduced to Telegram, or did you just come across it yourself? No, I just stumbled on it. Okay, did, nobody told you to download it? No. No? no, no. Okay. So you mentioned October is basically, is October basically when the child started flowing on Telegram for you? Yeah, I accidentally found some there. Sorry. You know, it I escalated from there. Accidentally found some, so like what, what happened in that case? I'm just curious. I like mean, people sending them to you. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Sharing okay. Sharing and trading and, you know, that's what people do on there. Ah, uh, okay. So the images to Lisa were as young as like infants and toddlers, like very young. Yeah, I always deleted that shit. Okay. So, you know, obviously I know you got carried away, and this was a one-off, but what compelled you to send images of like... It was an accident. Well... I was trading with somebody, and I accidentally hit her button, and it sent them to her. I'd done it by accident. I deleted it right away. I didn't mean to do that. Okay, so you meant that you meant to send those images to someone else? Yeah, I was okay. trading with a guy, but I, okay. didn't, I didn't like the young, young kids anyway. Right, but and you I, meant to send the young kids to somebody. Yeah, I don't look at little babies, man. Some guys on there have diaper babies and shit like that, man. That's just, that's mm -hmm. just too sick, man. But uh, why did you send those images to other people then? It was, I sent them to her by accident. No, I, I mean like, you, you know. I mean older girls, you know. Yeah, no, but, but I mean like you're, you're a, <laughs> you're, you know what a boomer is, right? In, well, you're from the older generation. You're not, as, you're not as technologically sound as I am. It's yeah. not hard to not see your only your messages to Lisa, but like messages to other people. Like, Telegram ain't hard to look into, you know? Really? Oh, yeah, really. So that's kind of why I wanted to just give you a chance to separate yourself from the people you were associating with. Because I truly think those people have lifetimes of victims, dude, and you don't. So that's why I want to give you the chance. Yeah. But there's chats where you were sending baby to other people. Yeah, I usually delete that shit when people send it to me. Mm -hmm. Honestly, I did. But why would you forward off the baby stuff, man? But why would you forward the baby stuff to other people? I don't. I don't think I did, as far as I know. Okay, but toddlers and seven-year-olds. No, no, no way. But you forwarded it to other people. Like you maybe didn't save it, but you sent it to other people. Yeah, I, I don't remember doing that. Honestly, I don't. Okay. No, not no little baby stuff. That's just too much, man. Okay. No way. So what was the limit that you just sent to other people, even if you didn't look at it? I don't know. Ten years up, you know. Okay. Eighteen. Okay. Uh, 16. Okay. So how did you, because you, you forwarded the baby stuff to Lisa. Yeah, I, I didn't mean to do that. Okay. I'm telling you, that was sure. a total accident. I okay. really didn't mean Who did you mean to send it to then? I, I Some other guy that was on there. I don't okay. know. We were trading. Okay. So, so obviously there has been times where you were maybe not to Lisa, but intentionally trying to send this baby stuff. I had like 12, 1300 videos there at one time and I deleted them all. Okay. Were they in your gallery? Yeah, I okay. deleted them all. Was this on your computer or your phone here? No, just my phone. Okay. So I, I gotta add, so we can work our way up. How many times have you sent baby stuff to other people? Obviously it's not as much as the 10 year olds, which I respect, but how many times do you think it happened where you send baby stuff to other people? I, I didn't, I don't remember doing that. But to Lisa you did. That was a total accident. I didn't even know how I got those, honestly. Right, but- Trading, but, you know, a bunch of people uh -huh. sending me stuff and you know, I just, 
Well, how many times do you think it accidentally happened? Do what? How many times do you think it accidentally happened then? To who? To well, just who? sending baby stuff around. I, I normally don't mess with that stuff. Honestly, I know. I, I don't. Have. Yeah, no, no, I know you normally don't because the people, there's people on Telegram that do, which, you know, I think you just got in the mode where people are asking you for that stuff yeah. and you sent it. I don't think you got off to it or looked at it, okay? No, if I thought you did, I wouldn't be here, you know? But how many times has someone requested that from you? Let's let's phrase it that way. There's people that like that stuff that I don't. And they would ask I you don't. for it. Yeah. Okay. I don't. I would delete them. The so people that have that stuff. Would you would you send and then delete it or what? Do what? Would you so? But you would. My point is, you would still send those images to them even if you didn't look at it. Like. Yeah, I I don't remember doing the toddler stuff. I mean, I'm not into that. But they would request that from you. Well, there's people that like that stuff, I guess, mm. but I don't. Okay. I'm just being honest with you, man. No, I, I believe. Get off on that shit. No, that's the thing. Like, let me let me just make this clear to you. I I'm not saying you get off on it. I'm saying you've just sent it around to people that have asked for it because you were just doing your thing online, yeah. getting into just some internet shit. And that's what all I think it is. But you did send those toddler pictures to people that asked for it. I'm not saying you to them no. and looking at phone records Never done that. yeah looking at phone records it's easy to see you didn't keep on you didn't hang on to those for a long time which you know that gives me a peace of mind but how many times do you think someone requested those photos from you and you end up sending them i have no idea okay is it too many to count no i mean i, I don't deal with that shit normally i don't i all. know like i'm saying i know normally you don't but how many times did it happen i have no idea okay. do you think it's like 10 no, probably a lot less than that. Okay. I mean, like, I get off on little kids. like three or four then, or what? Maybe a couple of times. Okay, a couple times it happened? All right. Okay, I'm just asking. Okay. Then he said, love to see a pic of you in a swimsuit. Bet you are very s***. Lisa sent that she picture. She's a pretty girl. Absolutely. So, you know, I, I think you can help me just kind of identify, like, who these girls are. You mentioned this girl's name is Laura P. Laura P. And you said she does videos with somebody Laura else. Mm -hmm. Laura B. Laura B. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you mentioned she does videos with someone else. Like, what's that all about? I, I have no idea. I haven't seen them in a long, long time. Okay. I mean, I've seen her on the internet before when I was in Alaska. What was happening to her in those videos? I, she's just mainly dancing and stuff, you know, nothing nude. I didn't see anything nude with her. Okay. She's in the no, picture. She does. No, you know. I mean, how old is she? What I, hear, I have no idea. She I like. Think she's a little Japanese girl, isn't she? From Japan. Looks like it. Yeah, I believe she is. Okay. I think you mentioned she was like ten. I have no idea. Okay. She can come to me here anytime. Okay, and you said here, if you ever want to see naughty pictures or videos, just ask. I'll be happy to share with you. Contact me anytime at night. And he said, okay, very nice meeting you, sweetie. Yeah, it was a total accident sending those to her. Sending those videos? Was, yes, okay. Was. I think you sent about like 100 videos to her, though. Yeah, I know. I screwed up. Okay. So, obviously, you're a smart guy. I mean, you can't navigate Alaska being an idiot. <laughs> no. I'm sure, you know, you've been through too much. I'm a, I'm a high school graduate, so I'm pretty smart myself, technically. So, look, obviously, one time or two times is a mistake. A hundred times, there could be a lot of mistakes, but th there's some where it had to be intentional. Maybe you got carried away to a point where you're just like, F it, I'm just going to send these. I shouldn't be doing this. Because, I mean, I know, you, I know you felt guilty after you sent it, for sure. But I want to ask, like, was there a point where it became... I'm going to see what she says about these videos, or maybe I should send her some if she wants oh, no, it. No, no, that was by accident. I swear to you, man, when I sent her those, that hundred or whatever it was, I was sending them to somebody else. I had her name by accident. There's no way I would send that to kids. Who were you sending it to, another adult? Yeah, somebody that I've met on there, on oh. Telegram. Okay. I don't even know who it is now. I've deleted so many people on there, I can't remember nobody's name. Okay. You know? Got it. And that's the truth, man. I sent them to her by accident. I didn't mean to do that. I okay. I didn't mean to do that. Okay, okay. So you said, I love chatting with you. And you said, yeah, but okay. I mean, you talked about, you know, you talked about her going to school and 
all of that stuff. I mean, it seemed like you really, really cared about her life. Yep. Okay. Was there like a boyfriend thing floated around? I'm not sure about that. Okay. Well, you said, would you I want to remember a lot? You know, mm -hmm. I'm sorry. My memory's not as good as it used to be. <laughs> no, you're good. Yeah. yeah. Well, you said, would you want a boyfriend, someone to tell secrets to and got a sweet kiss? And you said you're old enough to think about boys. And he said, well, that's on the internet. I know young kids learn a lot. So anything that I could help you with, I'm happy to be here for you. Yeah. I know you got it there, I guess. I don't know. I just don't remember. I mean, what, like, what were you thinking after you asked that? I don't know. Being stupid, I guess. Okay. I mean, did you feel, dumbass. Did, you, did you feel at any time, like, I mean, when, when she accepted, when she accepted like being like her, your girlfriend, what, what did you think of that? I'm not the one that brought it up. She's the one that brought that up. Okay. Yeah. And you just kind of accepted it or? Yeah, I guess. Okay. I don't know. Mainly just friends, somebody to chat with. Mm hmm. So that's what I was thinking about. Nice warm body to hold. And he said, you're too young to think about that stuff or maybe LOL. And you guys talked on the phone before too, right? Yeah, she called me once or twice. All right, got it. From an unlisted number, so mm -hmm. I don't even have her number. Sure. So, so what was the what was the plan today? You came in the camper to pick her up. Where were we all gonna go? No, we were just gonna talk. That's it. She just wanted me to come up and visit and meet her. You know. Okay. She wasn't gonna do nothing crazy or anything. You know. I mean. I mean, camping was floating around. No, I don't know about that. You didn't bring up camping at all. She might have. I don't know. Okay. She said she'd never been camping before, and she would like to go. Okay. One time I remember her telling me that. Okay. It's hot in the summer. And he said, I know, wish you were closer. He said, don't want trouble, but I would love to spend time with a beautiful young girl like you. And she said, I would love to spend time with somebody that's like a dad and boyfriend for me too. And you said, I would love to get... See, she's the one that brought that up. I never brought that up. Mm-hmm. You said, I would love to get a huge hug from you. Mm. And you said, I'm looking forward to spending time with you. Okay. So, I mean, what was your goal with her? Like, was it just to be like a whole, like, just, just friends. That's okay. It. That's it. So you sent this picture to her too, it's a couple times. Yeah, I don't remember doing that. Damn. Well, I mean, it's not a, I mean, this was very recently. I mean, it's, it's not like, it, it's not, I'm not trying to probe if you remember it or not. I mean, obviously what was sent was sent. I'm trying to ask, did you regret sending it? Do you feel bad about sending Probably it? so, and now that I see it, there we go. Okay, well, I mean, I, I don't think like, kind of beating around this bush here, well, lack of bush, because you mentioned you shaved. I don't think that's being exactly as honest as maybe we'd like to be. Because look, man, again, I, I really do think you need help instead of trouble, but I think the internet's really put you in a dark place. So, you said this is a picture of me today, just for, it's a very softened pic, and you said I shaved my Don't like all the hair, a lot cleaner shave, don't you think? Look, man, I mean, nobody, nobody, nobody's like, you know, no, no, nobody's just dumb or anything. I'm not saying you're dumb, but if I really thought you were some you would have spammed her with it whether she wanted it or not. But obviously it looks like, obviously it looks like she was into it. You said, here's a picture when I'm rubbing my and got a heart. Think about you, sweetie. Love heart. Uh, I mean, obviously, did, did, I mean, did she ever tell you to stop sending those pics? No. Okay. When, what did she say after you sent your picture? Did she tell you to stop? Okay. So I'll, I want to ask one more time, like, how, how did you, how did, how did you feel after sending that? Like, pretty good now. Well, then, then how did you feel? I don't know. I think you, you do, man. That's the thing. 
just got it. I got wrapped up in some bullshit, but I got and I regret the hell out of it. Hey man, if I thought that you if I thought this was gonna happen again, I wouldn't be here talking to you. I think talking to you can put a stop to this, man. Alright. But you send your pick probably yeah. ten times. Yeah, I don't I don't remember that many times. Okay. So how many times do you remember? A couple. Okay, so it, yes, you're right. It was a couple times. All right, so so going forward, let's be on the same page with this. All right, because obviously you remember sending it, and it's, you know you're you're not you may not have the best memory, but you're not Joe Biden. You know, at least not when it comes to memory. Maybe chat logs, yeah. but yeah. Say again. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> who, who do you like, by the way, Trump or Biden? Uh, I've never voted in my life. Oh, so you're just like one of those like sovereign citizens. That's amazing. That's the really. Who the good people is though. And I'll just keep that to myself. You sure. know, politics, yeah. you can get an argument real quick. Definitely. Okay. So. And I appreciate your honesty about the pictures, man. I know, I know it takes a little bit, but it's okay. Do right. you are regret it? Yes, all of it. Okay. I do. Okay. So how many times is a couple? How many times do you remember sending it? You said a couple. Huh? That once and maybe another time. I don't know. Okay. Okay. So here, I mean, this is kind of what uh, it's what I want to bring up here, and you know, this is all just to get on the same page. All right. So obviously, March March second, I think that could have been the breaking point. So. You said, if you like him, please watch all you want, sweetie. This is after you sent her this stuff. Yeah, it was an accident. I sent him, though. Okay. Yeah. And she said, I don't know. Can you first explain what they were doing? And you said, can't see what you're watching. Send send back so I can see, okay? Yeah, and she never did. Okay. She deleted them. I deleted them, so. Okay. You know. So, I mean, was, was there a point where... And maybe this is just a fantasy for you, but is there a point where maybe you just wanted to be your teacher and just let her be curious or anything, or? I don't, I don't think so. Okay. And you said, forward what you're seeing back to me and I'll be happy to explain everything to you, sweetie. And she said, okay, yes, when I'm alone. And you said, please don't hate me, delete them. And then here you said, because I sent you naughty stuff, well, enjoy. And she, you said, just delete it and me if you're pissed. And she said, why are they And she said, I'm not pissed, LOL. And you said, Tony. And she said, stop it, silly. I don't know much about that. Can you please explain me? And you said, it's okay. Okay. And here you say, may I be your teacher? So here's why I think the accident story isn't an accident. Okay. Some of it could have been, maybe the first time we said it could have been, but you seem to be really big on consent because you even said, delete me if you don't like it. So you didn't force her to do anything, which is why I'm here talking to you because I respect that. But it seemed like when she was on board, you became on board. That's what I think happened. So, the reason it wasn't an accident. Yes, you did instigate it a little bit, I believe. Okay. So, I don't think it was you forcing anything or an accident. I would do that. Right. I don't think it was either an accident or you forcing anything. I think it was a mutual thing that happened between the two of you. I think if she didn't want it, you wouldn't have sent it. But it wasn't no accident. We can cross that. We, can, we, can we call that one bullshit on the accident thing? No, the, the videos was. That was okay. a total accident. Not, I, not the first, maybe the first time, but not, not after she was okay I with it. all of those videos in a package. I'm mm -hmm. sending them to somebody else and I accidentally hit her okay. name. I really but you ended up sending yeah, more. I freaked out when I, when I hit, sent them to her. Okay, but you ended up sending more than that. I don't believe so. Not videos like that. Okay, pictures? Just a couple of pictures, yeah. Okay. And we're talking about. got them right there. Right. Can't lie to you right. About it. Right. Talking about like the pictures. I need to get me a drink, man. I'm dehydrated real bad. 
Oh, you can do wherever, but um, you want? Do you want us to get you one? No, I've got my water in the truck. <laughs> I feel like you're gonna drive. I mean, you can do whatever you want, but I feel like you're gonna drive off. Yeah, yeah, I got things to do. I just got my passport yesterday, day before yesterday, so I'm going into Canada gold prospecting this summer. If you don't lock me up. Well, you know, I, I, I definitely think that we can get this addressed, but I think getting it addressed does involve talking about this, having an honest conversation. Yeah. I'm really trying to go to bat for you here, man. Yeah. So. Well, I'm guilty. I mean, you got it right there. You know, I mm -hmm. don't know what you want from me. Okay. Do I feel bad about it? Yes. Right. I but, do. But, but the, th the thing is, man, you offered to send her more than those videos. Never once did you say it was an accident. The first video was. Okay. It was. Right. But then you offered to send it again. I don't know. I think, I, I think, I think you really got carried away. Yeah. Don't we all? Yeah. Uh, yeah, exactly. Like none of us, none of us are here without making any mistakes, dude. We're not perfect. Okay. But you know, you know, the thing is, you didn't send a hundred videos in a row without her saying anything. You send them in spurts. Yeah, I don't remember sending her any other videos. Right. Just that one time when I screwed up and sent them to her. Right, but it wasn't a hundred. Well, you didn't send a hundred straight videos to her. You, it wasn't. It wasn't just the ch the chats didn't say video, 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 video. That wasn't it. You sent a video, you said something. You sent another video, she says something. You sent another video. Maybe some were in spurts, but not 100. Yeah, I don't remember sending her any more. I really don't. I know. I think there was only one day of, one day of you sending those. Yeah. But it didn't happen all at once that one day, is what I'm getting at here. Mainly, I was just chatting with her, you know, becoming friends. Yeah. That was it, man. I know, and that's, that's why I'm curious. Like, did you... Like, did you send it? Did you send those to her to see how she would react to it, or was it just was it just to corrupt her, man? Because a lot of people can look at this and say, "Oh, this was just to corrupt her mind," but I don't think that was the case. You, you don't seem like the type of guy to do that, man. No. So, what was the reason you sent it to her? Was it to see how she would react? She asked for him, or what? What, is, what the deal was? I don't know. I don't know. Honestly, I don't remember. Do you think she gave you a reason to send those to her? Maybe I don't know. I'm telling you, I don't really don't remember a lot of stuff. I have a hard time since I had a little mini stroke, you know. Mm -hmm. Do you recall her? Uh, did did you did you feel? I mean, even if she was asking, why'd you send those? I don't know. Okay. You got it all right there. Mm -hmm. I don't know. After you sent those, you said you want me to be your teacher. Does that sound like an accident, Scott? What's that? After you sent those videos, you said, well, enjoy. Do you want me to be your teacher? However, you did say, you also did say, if you don't like it, delete it and block me. Which tells me it wasn't an accident, but you didn't want to force, her, force it on her. No, I would never do that to anybody. Okay. I think, I think the videos itself were sent to her on purpose but you weren't gonna send any more if she didn't want any. I think that's the real story of what happened here. Am I right? Yeah, I wouldn't pour nothing on nobody. Okay, man. got it, got it. So were you hoping she would wanna see those videos when you sent those? I don't know, people like different stuff. Okay, you know, in life, so were you just curious to see how she would react then or what? I don't know, what are you asking? I mean, I'm just trying to find a reason why those videos were sent to her. She probably asked for him. I don't know. I don't remember all of the details on it, you know? Okay. So there were some videos you meant to send for some reason to her, whether it was her or whatever. Yeah, I'm not sure if she asked for them, probably. But okay. I don't just send stuff to anybody on, on purpose, you know? Not normally, unless they're interested in something. 
you know. Okay. Because there was some talk about her being a boy, or your, your, you being her boyfriend, her being your girlfriend, all that type of stuff. Could, could that be what, what led to that maybe? or uh, Probably. I don't know. Okay. Look, look man. We, we are trying to turn this around. Because if you were truly a truly piece of shit, I wouldn't care this much about you, man. Okay. Look, I know the answers are going to be embarrassing, but you do know. You do, you do know why it was sent, man. I just want to know so I can worry about other people really doing this stuff. I don't care about the dipshit in October. And you're not a dipshit, but you know, you know what I'm saying. You don't care about the dipshit who started this in October. Big f***ing deal. It's the internet. Who gives a f***? I'm talking about how can I understand? Because you're on the totem. You're very low on the totem pole, both figuratively and literally. I'm trying to find the f kingpin sending this stuff to you, getting you involved in it. That's what I care about. But in order for me to understand them, I need to understand you. You know what I mean? I can't climb Mount Everest without starting at base camp, right? Yeah. Okay. I so, you're, yeah, you know about Alaskan mountains. Mount Everest isn't Alaskan, but you know what I mean, the mountains. I understand that. Right. So help me understand why she was sent those. So I can understand when we can both help catch real criminals. I guess I just got wrapped up in the moment, you know? I okay. Mean, what else can I say? Okay. You know? Were you just bored and uh, Yeah. Okay. I guess. I don't know. Okay. Got wrapped up in the moment. Okay. So it wasn't an accident. You just got very carried away. Yeah. Okay. Pretty much. Okay. Good. Just drop a bunch of stuff. That wind gets up, don't it? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, if Lisa said to stop talking to her, what would you have done? Do what? If Lisa said to stop talking to her, what would you have done? I would have stopped. Talking okay, to her. all right, all right, just had a check. Appreciate that. Okay. Because again, you say here, if you want videos, I can send every night to you. Yeah, I don't remember right now, but anyway. You don't watch to get caught with those videos. And you said, it's all fun, I promise. Having pleasure is a good thing. Well, since you have naughty videos now, LOL, teach me, please. Guess I was joking about her being the teacher. And you said, she said, love you too. And you said, you're so sweet. Will you be my girl? Please love you too. I need to hug you so bad. So again, yeah, not an accident. This happened. Just getting very carried away. Am I right? Yeah. All right. You know, wrapped up in the moment. Hey, man, we've all been there before. Up situation, man. We've all been there before. So, so obviously, these messages don't go to a nine-year-old girl without you really seeing some fucked up shit. How often did you find yourself watching child? And hey, man, if it's twenty-four-seven, really. well, that's bullshit. But if it's twenty-four, I know it's not twenty-four-seven. No, no. So I said, not really. You know. Right. But it's not like I stay online all day. Sure. Doing that shit, you know. But how often? Like how often? Is this like a nightly thing only, or is this throughout the day, or once a day, or twice a day, three times a day? How often is this? Oh no, not that. No way. You know, okay. Maybe in the evening, every now and then, but it's not like every day, every night, all the time. You know, I don't do that. What's every now and then? Like every couple days? Yeah, at least. Okay, you know. at least. Okay. Because I deleted them, I didn't see anything for quite a while, and then you mm -hmm. know somebody sent me one, and that started it all again. Was that in October? Yeah, I guess. Okay, so you were into this a long time ago then, but you got out of it. Yeah, I looked at a couple of videos in Alaska. You know. When? How many years ago was this? Ten. Okay, so you've been off and on with this type of stuff. So you've been trying to fight it. Okay, well, I respect that. So how'd you come across it 10 years ago? Because obviously... It was accident, you know? Accidentally stumbled on it. Not on Telegram, though. That's Telegram, no, I don't think, is that old. It's just, I don't know, I had a desktop computer in Alaska. Okay. It was different. Okay, and you just found that website or something like that? Yeah, I just stumbled across it, you know? Okay, sure. There's a lot of stuff out there on the internet. Yeah, I gotta be vigilant, for sure. Okay. So again, like I'm gonna let you know, um, you're an you're an old boomer and I am a young zoomer, which you have a lot more wisdom than I do. But I'm better with technology. That phone you just pulled out, that is I, some kind of Samsung. I forgot the model. I, I'd have to refresh my memory if I to see it again. That's the most easily. That's the phone you, someone can most easily look at from a distance. That is the most. I mean, 
you're basically with that phone, you're leaving your door unlocked and your windows unlocked in Milwaukee. That's that phone security. So I'm gonna ask you again, knowing I know, how many times did you really look at child porn? How often is this? Because every few days, my ass. How often is it really, man? I know the answer, you know the answer. Let's just be on the same page here. Well, I mean, I'd look at it in the evening, you know? Pretty much every evening? Well, not every evening, no. How many times a week? Like, from what it looks like, probably five to six times a week. Yeah, probably. Okay. So almost every day. Not every couple days, almost every day. Why? I don't know. Okay. So. Dumb. 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 Mm -hmm. So how, how long did this last? Using my head. Yeah. So, so how long did this last in Alaska, like this little spurt you had with the shitty 10 years ago? Oh, that was just a one-time deal. One-time deal? Yeah, it's not like I had it stocked up on my freaking computer. Sure. It wasn't like that. What, so what was sent to you in Alaska? Maybe working and yeah. you know, building. Yeah, yeah being meaningful. <laughs> yeah. So, so what, what was sent to you in, and this was when you were gold mining? Well, when well, you were I up there. I stumbled on it once, you know, by accident. What was it that you stumbled upon, like specifically? Yeah. Girls doing aerobics and stuff like that, like that Laura B. You know, I seen her dancing and she had her clothes on. It wasn't no big deal though. It wasn't real job. In Alaska? But yeah, I, I didn't look at that. Well, you specifically mentioned you came across it and you don't like to come yeah, across. just the young girls dancing and doing aerobics and stuff like that. Okay. Know? Got it, man. Scott, there's, there's no young girls dancing and doing aerobics website. There's nothing that- no, It's you, all over the internet. You don't stumble across that, man. YouTube, on YouTube, that's where you see that. <laughs> Scott, Scott, you, you didn't go from, I saw child in Alaska to I saw a YouTube video. No, I didn't see child. It wasn't, but you, it but wasn't you, girls. But you said you, come, you came across it. What did these people put on your internet? That's because, look, I'm not blaming you. I'm saying, no, what do they? The YouTube deal, I'm telling oh, you. Oh, okay. That's what it was. Okay. That's where that Lord B is on that YouTube deal. I mean, it, it's not, it ain't. Oh, no, yeah, no, 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 I'm not talking about Laura. I'm talking about what, what did they send you in Alaska for you to like see this, because I think that corrupted no, your mind. I haven't seen that shit until I got this phone down here. Okay, and someone sent it to you? Yeah, Okay. I just stumbled across it, just like I told you. Okay. And I accidentally got the damn, you know, website I'm on there. Mm -hmm. It's not like I was out searching for it. Right, so the, the, the videos you did send, For obvious reasons, I can't print them out, right? So the videos you did send, they came from, th these are the people that we've identified as you trading with. A lot of them don't look American. Juan Caballero, Mike O, this guy could be American. Yeah, I don't even remember those guys. No, I mean, I think you could really help yourself right now if you tell me who some of these people are. Actually, forget these for a second. If you remember anybody, I think you could really help yourself by telling me who they are. You mean names on there? Hmm? I mean, I, I really don't remember them. Or their real names. No, I, I don't know people like that on there. Okay. No way. Any, any user names? Just not right offhand, no. Any profile pictures? Most people don't show their own face there, you know? Any that did that you can remember? Not really. Okay. So we noticed some of these videos you sent had hundreds of thousands of views on them. So we know you basically traded this around with people, right? So how many, were you in any groups with this type of stuff shown in there? Because those are a lot of, so you would just trade it individually? Group deal. No. So you would just trade child individually with people? Yeah. No. Okay. Well, people would contact me somehow. I don't know. Mm -hmm. So I, I am going to ask you uh, one more time because, again, I'm going to let you know I was in those groups with you on a fake decoy account. Not as Lisa, but on a fake decoy account, basically. 
I just made whatever, you know, pizza this, you know, some bullshit, right? I was in the groups with you, okay? Yeah, I don't never, I don't remember being in a big group. Okay, how how big were the groups you were in then? If it wasn't I was just trading with one person there and one person there. I, I never joined a group. Yeah, but I'm letting you know, man. I was in the groups with you. I don't remember a group. Did you Show ever? Me. Did you Show ever? Me the group. Did you ever get added to any? It seemed like somebody added me to one, and I okay. just deleted it. Okay. Because I'm not into groups. And this was like I'm a okay. Group. So that's probably when I was in with you. That was like a child group. Yeah. Okay. I just deleted it because I'm not into that. Okay. Was, what was being sent in that group? I, I don't know. I didn't stay in a group. Okay, you just I knew it. Somebody added me one time to one and I deleted it. And it was just some stupid child group? Yeah, I guess. Okay. I don't know. I didn't look through it. Okay. So that, that has to be what I it really is. I don't remember the groups. Okay. I really don't, man. I'm yeah. being honest with you. No, I know, I know you're being honest. I just think maybe there's some things being left out. I don't think you're, look, man, if you were dishonest, I wouldn't care to talk to you, man. No, I, I had somebody add me to a group once and I mm -hmm. freaking deleted it, man. I'm being honest about that. Okay, so. I think groups are trouble, you know, it's just mm -hmm. a bunch of stupid shit. <laughs> so, yeah, sure. So how many how many groups did did you get added to that you, because it looked like a lot that you got added to. But I you, remember one. Uh-huh. For sure. Okay. How many other times do you think you... I remember a lot of damn groups. Okay, how many do you think it was? That, that. How many do you think it was? I know I got added one time and I deleted it right away. Okay, well, I mean, look, I don't have the group names. I just have records of you being in all these groups. I don't know for how long, I can't... I know all them groups. That's, that's bullshit. Excuse me, but that's bullshit. Oh, you're saying it's bullshit that you were in groups? Yeah, I wasn't in any groups. I'm telling you. I, somebody added me to it once, maybe twice, and I deleted them right away. Maybe twice. Okay. Was it the same person that added you both times, or was? I don't know. I doubt it. You doubt it? I okay. I remember everybody on there. You okay. Know? I mean, the people coming and going all the time. Okay. So, I mean, if you had to give me a ballpark number, I mean, how many people did try to trade with you? Was it too many to count? What's that? How many people tried to trade with you? on telegram i don't know i traded with quite a few people i guess okay a couple of dozen got it all right appreciate your honesty got some right there on your beard thanks yeah <laughs> grandpa's still coming in even now you're such a caring guy you got a cotton mouth too. yeah i do all right so here i mean the stuff kind of got uh it, it, it kind of got pretty pretty carried away with lisa like as in stuff that y'all were talking about doing together i mean yeah. you said here i want to kiss you all over your sweet body and here he said i think you sounded so sweet i think you are my angel sent to me i love your sweet little voice and when is your birthday honey so i mean did it look like you, you all sort of like catch feelings for each other a little bit yeah just friends okay did you care about her well of course i care about okay her. I'd be lying if I said no. I'd respect know? that, yeah. Here he says, please send me another... As a friend. I wouldn't do nothing to hurt anybody, though. Okay. I promise you that. Please send me another picture of you, babe. I love the pic of you standing in front of the mirror. You are so beautiful. I love you so much. Make the picture a little for me, please. I really want a very naughty picture of you in front of the mirror. And just your beautiful panties. That's all no, that's all no big deal, but it would mean a lot for me. Yeah, she never did, though. Okay. What were you planning on doing with it if she sent it? I don't know. Okay. Was there a chance you would have shared it with people? No. Okay. Hell no. All right. So you also said, you also asked for, to see a picture of her topless. I did? Mm-hmm. I don't recall that. You said, I love you so much. I got so excited thinking about you being close to me under my eyes. I got really hard thinking about you, baby. You said you wanted me to teach you. So if you want to see a picture of my love you honey she's the one that asked me to teach her okay i mean it's not like i've advanced towards her. right so you were letting her kind of guide the conversation yeah, okay pretty much. got it so here you said after gently your nipples, i'm going to kiss your soft by now i want I know you are so excited getting and want to kiss you for a long time on your beautiful 
French kissing. You said, I hope you are getting excited now, babe. Are you? And you said, I want you to reach down for me and gently pinch your nose and think you me kissing you and your sweet little nose. And you said, after your nose, I'm going down lower, lower and kiss your belly again. Then I'm going to pull the front of your panties down while still kissing and put my mouth on your sweet, soft head and begin you and do my best to make sh make you have pleasure you have never felt. Wrapped up in the moment. Man. Yeah. Bullshit. Okay. How did you feel after saying that? I don't know. Okay. Not good, no. All right. Okay, and you said, I know on your beautiful, your sweet, you are getting very wet. I know in my heart that you taste so sweeter than honey. So my is getting very thing about you, babe. I love you, my sweetheart. Do you have to continue with this? I mean, you got all the information right there. You can do what you want. Well, here, here's where you said, send me one with your shirt off. It'll make, it'll really turn me on, babe. So this is where you asked for a shirtless one. Yeah, I don't want to call that. I really don't. You don't want to what? I said, I don't, really don't recall saying that. You said, when you take your shirt off, pinch your nose and take a picture of it. Yeah, you never did, I guess. I don't know. You didn't say that. He said, I want you in every way possible. Please trust me because I really care for you, sweetheart. I love you so much. You said, here, I promise I'll show no one. Okay. So, on, on the phone the other day, on the phone the other day, you know, obviously, stuff was talked about, hanging out, Okay. She said, what are we going to do? And you said camping. She said, I've never been camping. I like, she's, she seemed interested in it. She's the one that asked me okay. about going camping. Okay. You said you were going to take her camping and her little six-year-old sister. Um, I respect that. Just to cook marshmallows and camping. I mean, nothing. Okay. Sure. Nothing. Man, okay. Honestly, man, okay. It wasn't, it so, wasn't so, like that. so my thing is, first of all, before we even get to that, where are you going to bring them back home? Well, yeah. I'll okay. Be. All right. Hey, man. You know I have to ask it, right? I'm not here to hurt nobody. Okay. So I'm not going to hurt nobody. Okay. So you were going to? I mean, do you have the marshmallows in the car? No. You were going to go buy some? Yeah. Okay. Where were you going to take them camping? Uh, just I don't know. Just find a campground or something. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Do you have like a tent? No. Just my trailer. Oh, you're always going to sleep in there? Yeah. Okay. And then I got a tent, too. Small tent. Oh, okay. So you do have a tent? So oh, were you going oh, yeah. to sleep, like, in the tent or in the tr in the camper? Oh, I, I got my own place in the camper. Okay. There's actually a bunk bed in there, too. So. Oh, shit. Okay. So you had space for them and everything? Oh, yeah. Oh, awesome. Hell, yeah. Okay. So what time were you thinking about bringing them back? Uh, I don't know. Okay. So I, I got to ask, dude, like... I gotta ask, man. So basically, stuff was talked about. Looking there, all of that. Be honest. Were you gonna force it on them, or was it gonna be consensual? No, I would never do that. Okay. No, were you gonna let them? Were you gonna let them decide if they wanted to do it? I guess. Okay. So you, it would, have, it would, it would have only happened. Okay. So it only would have happened if they were okay with it. Is that right or no? Hey guys, what's going? On? How's it going, ma'am? I'm, I'm deputy Romo with the sheriff's department. So we're getting phone calls about you guys in the parking lot. What's going on? We're just talking. Okay, well, clearly it's loud enough for people to call, so. Yeah, so basically. Um, Do you mind if I step, if you, we talk over here just to figure out what's sure, going on? Sure, sure. Nobody's in trouble or anything. So okay. I'm just trying to figure out what's happening. Well, he, he's basically here to meet a nine year old girl and a six year old girl for to have sex with them. And uh, we've done this before. We have a group that does this across the country, posing minors online, and we catch online child. I think uh, Detective Smith knows who we are. That's his name, I think. Smith? Yeah. Um, we ha are you working with Jimmy County? No, 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 no. We're like private, but like... No, no, no. I understand that. I, I'm just saying as far as like... Um, yeah, Smith's in P Pima County, right? Uh, we have like two Smiths, I guess. He's like a skinny, skinny one? Uh, skinny guy. Uh, either way. Uh, so... Anyway, this guy is like loaded with child... And uh, we posed as a nine-year-old online. He tried to solicit who he thought was us for sex. 
And we've done this before at the Foothills Mall, like in November, and the guy got arrested. And we were gonna call you guys pretty soon here anyway. Oh, okay. So, um, is that all like proof of? Um, yeah, it's not, this isn't everything we have, but it's a lot. He admitted to like trading child and all that stuff. Okay, so what's the, um, I guess, uh, as far as, you know, verifying him and what's going on and... Oh, it's on camera of him admitting to it. Okay. Yeah. Um, do you mind if... Okay, I want to just take a look at these. Like yeah, he's on the left, we're on the right. And uh, obviously we don't have any of this printed out for obvious reasons, but like... Okay. So it's... Um, it's all out of order now. No, that's all right. So what time did you guys show up here? Does he live here? Mm -mm. Well, he lives in Tucson. Okay. Oh, don't let him delete his phone if he's doing that. Okay. No, he's, good, he's, good. Good. All right. Uh, can you guys talk with him, please? Um, yeah. So you know, we'll step away from him because I don't want him to leave out. Why don't we give us him real quick? We'll check this off. Hey, you see that? That's our first international arrest in Canada. Oh, you see that? That's our arrest in our 42nd state, Delaware. YouTube censoring channels like this left and right. If you want to keep this movement alive, consider joining locals in the pinned comment. You can see all of these uncensored, no filter, for only $7 a month. And you can keep this movement alive in spite big tech. The choice is yours. You can support the group that has an arrest in 42 different states and two countries. You can see catches like the fire lieutenant, which I can't post publicly until after his trial. You can see all of Stinghouse content that I think is too spicy for here, plus much, much more. Contribute directly to getting these people off the streets. Keep yourself entertained. Keep us going. Join locals. Pin comment.